All right, let's head in to the Leyline Observatory. Ooh. <sighs> Are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. Why do I know this place? I have no memories. This is crazy. I love this place. Yeah, I believe in in one of these rooms at least. There is a uh, optional uh, item you can get, which is very useful. Let's read about the Leyline Observatory. The Leyline Observatory is funded by a special organization where we research and study ley lines, an energy network that sustains the planet. By analyzing ley lines, we strive to refine the energy that sustains this planet. If successful, we will be able to defer, uh, deter the decay of this planet and breathe new life into the environment. May our blood and tears become the blessed rain and our toil the light that warms the flowering greenery. We must bear the fruits of our research. Okay. Memorandum address the night shift falls to the floor. Would you like to read it? Boy, would I! I love memorandums! <laughs> Four of you will be assigned a night shift this month. You must activate the elevator using your name as the password before you begin your shift. P.S. Bryant, please let Incapilia know. Benedict, you're last, so please empty the trash before you leave. Any questions? Please ask Valente, who comes in before Bryant. Okay. So I have to use one of their names as a password. I forget which one, I'll be honest. White lab coat and personal things are covered in dust. There's nothing useful in here. No pair of socks give off a sour fermented stench. Okay. White lab coat. Okay. Same again. The tool radar. This is a completely optional tool that I missed on my first playthrough. Because unlike the other tools, it doesn't really help you with puzzles or anything. It lets you scan for hidden treasure. Basically, you know in the field when there's like items just like in barrels and stuff? And you're always wondering, how was I supposed to know that that hidden item was there? This is how. It would have a little dot on the screen. It won't open. Oh no. An old candy wrapper. The expiration date is dated over 10 years ago. So yeah, when I'm going around areas now, I always like to be running around as Jet with that tool out because it's it just helps you find a lot of hidden treasure. Enter password. Oh I suppose I just try putting in one of the names. Um, it was Incapilia. Was it one L? <laughs> I don't know if you have to put in a specific one or if just any of them work. I don't remember. But that seemed to work. Did we do one there? Oh, go! And that's what it looks like when there's uh, items. Dragon fossil. Veins circulating the subsurface. Underneath the crust of the Filgaia lies a network of ley lines that, which act as blood vessels to supply life energy to the planet. Atop those ley lines lie geologic stratum strong points called ley points. It's interesting to note that many guardian shrines can be found atop the ley points. 
Not only do ley lines circulate the life around life energy of the planet, it is also assumed that they connect to ley points to amplify the energy mutually. In that sense, the ley lines and ley points are similar to blood vessels and organs in a living organism. This comparison paved the way for the Filgaia theory, which views the planet as one single life entity. Good, good for them. <gasps> There's secret treasure in there! Three coal souls and magic cleansers. Delightful. <laughs> Let's present your ID. <gasps> we don't have one. I'm guessing it's there. <laughs> In the beginning. The progenitors of the human race are said to have arrived on this planet long ago on a ship that soars the heavens. However, there is no mention of where our forefathers came from. Without any absolute evidence backing up this folklore, many have come to view it as a mere fairy tale. On the other hand, there are those who would take the folklore seriously, citing the fact that the human race seemed to have appeared in history overnight. I strongly believe that solving the mystery of the ship that soars the heavens will one day shed light as the true origin of the human race. Cool. Well, that's a fun theory. Luck is a part of skill. Is it though? Sealed by magic. Would like to do with a duplicator. No, but yes. Some boast about physical strength, but some may boast about magic. But how many of you boast about luck? Me personally, none. Because I have terrible luck. How many of you out there on the battlefield take luck seriously? Well, let me tell you this. That powerful one-timer, the critical hit, and ever so handy, Defender, these skills are activated by chance and governed by luck. What about those death blows and the various status elements the enemies throw at you? These can actually be prevented by skills and luck. And the booby-trapped treasure chest you get after winning a battle, the chances of you successfully defusing it also depends on your luck. Okay, so I was right about that at least. Yeah, luck does dictate a lot of things, but it's also a thing that you can't really control. <laughs> yeah, every belt action is affected by luck, but also you can't decide your luck. It just seems kind of random, so it's, it's not really worth worrying about, I think. Yeah, we'll take luck more seriously. Yeah, take this seriously. <clears throat> <laughs> anyway, ID card. Examples. Pieces of experimental records still remain inside the console. Record data was damaged. Piecing some of the words together, it seems to have something to do with environmental data and simulation patterns dating back a thousand years ago. It appears the scientists were trying to revitalize or transform the planet artificially. <gasps> Terraforming! Which is also what the uh, prophets want to do. Okay, let's have a look at that ID card we picked up. It belonged to a researcher named Pete. Access granted. Thank you. Going up again. Just love the music of this place. It's so fun. Alright, we have doors. <gasps> there's there's treasure over there. Gala card. Gala. Gimel coin. Adult mag catches your eye. Would you like to look at it? <laughs> sure. <laughs> Sealed by magic. <clears throat> Would you like to 
Use a duplicate to dispel the magic. Sure. You're not mature enough. To <laughs> yeah, that's why I um, safe state that. Because that's not a good use of uh, <laughs> duplicates. Mm. I, I believe that is a thing later. I think if we come back here, like at the end game or something, there's like an optional boss fight because of that. <laughs> Because apparently at that point we're old enough. I don't know. <sighs> Duran's diary. She came by again last night. Whenever I'm lost in my labyrinth of contemplation, she reaches out her tiny hands. Who is she? Actually, it may be wrong to define her as a real person. As long as I don't tie, my down, tie myself down with logic, she's just she. I'm at a point where I can't live without her anymore. I can't continue my research without her. I can't concentrate. I want to know more about her. I'm more interested in her than I am about learning the mechanics of the generator. That is some interesting foreshadowing. I remember that for much later. She's the same, okay? Mimic! No! Two Mimic! Even worse! <sighs> now that for a holy onk. What do? It nullifies bronze, okay. A status effect that is so rare, I don't think I've ever encountered it, so... Beyond Oblivion. Demi-humans may look and think like humans, but they are different. Demi humans called El 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 Elus Elus. From what I remember, this is uh, this is a reference to I think Wild Arms One, and I believe that was a mistranslation where I think it was supposed to be elves. <clears throat> so I'm just gonna I'm just gonna pronounce it elves, just because that's easier than Elus. Demi -human called, Demi-humans called Elves are said to have once existed on Filgaia. These Elves are said to have fought off the demons using the power of the Guardians. Originally, the Elves were a peaceful race, but led by the blacksmith warrior Vasim, they fought to save the planet. Other men who are said to have been revered on an epitaph are Fulcanelli, who performed the secret ceremony, and Blavatsky, who had insight about Filgaia. After the end of this bitter, bitter war, the elves vanished, and no one has heard of them again. According to one theory, since the elves were closely tied with nature, they are believed to have died off from the decay of the planet. Are the elves extinct? No one knows for sure. The demi-humans elves have long forgotten in the pages of history. Weird grammar there, I think. Maybe it's just me. Uh, <laughs> Perhaps we will remember them when this planet returns to Verda. Maybe. Formerly known as the Chalk. Uh, at the end of the Great War gave birth to the fundamentalism of nature, Baskar. Secret ceremonies were held using the power of the Guardians. Two sects of Baskar were established. One as a religious group for those who had, who had nowhere to turn to, and the other as restorers of the decayed environment. Shortly after the flings of war had died out, it's said that Baskar tried to rejuvenate Filgaia through the use of guardians. Guardians which were considered to be the power that sustains the world were attempting to do just that. The Baskars were said to have set up chocks A structure signifying the belief in the Guardians over the Leapons. These chocks were used to suppress the expansion of the Wasteland and at the same time amplify the Guardians' powers while supplying energy to the world. However, the spreading of the Wasteland was more severe than expected and the chocks 
only worked to delay the decay instead of revitalizing the environment. These chalks later became referred to as the Guardian Shrines and play a ceremonial role today. Rejuvenation of Philgaia would have to find a new, different approach. I wonder, does the word chalk have any like meaning, or is it just something they made up? Because it's, it's weird. Artifacts over memories. Artifacts left behind from the Great War brought about a new power to the human race. Machines capable of activation through the use of will as an extension of oneself. Artifacts from ruins. Memories. <laughs> <laughs> and that's their explanation for the term arms used for our weapons and stuff. Artifacts from ruins. Colon memories. <laughs> It's not the best, not the best uh, acronym, but sure, <laughs> otherwise known as arms. Today arms commonly refer to portable machine weaponry, but originally encompassed the technology used to make them. To this day no one knows who these memories belong to, but the fact remains that we have come to depend on its powers. Okay, then we checked those rooms, which means all that's left is this room. Implantation of the sample completed on time, just in time schedule by O2. Everything is proceeding smoothly. This project was feared to be blasphemy against divine nature, but the favourable process helps to ease our collective conscience. This is a significant leap forward to this theory. The outcome will be proven once the project begins to take shape. Adam Cadman is about to be born. Will the seven of us earn a place in history as the creators? Or as immoral sinners. That will all depend on the completion of the sample. The seven of us have come this far so that we can deliver another tomorrow for the planet. Oh, Virginia. The data inside these machines is still active. It wasn't my imagination after all. I know this place, but why? Without any windows, so many machines humming loudly 24-7. I'm surprised the sinus didn't go insane. Pieces of experimental records still remain inside the console. By piecing some of the words together, it appears the scientists were studying the formation of life from the ley lines. The data sample of the planet seems to have been constructed, but no further details are available. Sun. My only regret is that I was unable to show you a world full of verdure. But wait. I will overlap the new world formation onto your figure. A new life. A life that must carry the burden for generations. Adam Cadmon. You are our only hope. Guide this Philgaia so that it will once again be filled with greenery. You are the world's hope. I'm counting on you for all children of this planet. It's not like I understand why I know this, but... Hmm? What are you doing? There, it opened. Secret door? But how did you find it? Surely it wasn't obvious. I don't know why, but I think I know this place. Actually, it's more like my body remembers it. Do you think this place might have something to do with your lost memories? Who knows? The fact is, I seem to faintly remember this place. Waving water. Reflection of light. People in white lab coats. I wasn't alone then. 
Do not try to recall everything at once. It will be too overwhelming for you mentally and physically. There must be some kind of clue about his memories behind the secret door. Let's go find out. Alright, let's keep going. The giant cultivation device for organisms. Many tiny adjustment dials surround the pod. My stomach feels like it's going to fall out. My neck is getting stiff. We need to leave here now. Enter a password. Hang on. Some books here. I think one of these might be where I get the password for that. How can Fugai possibly be a living planet? The theory that tries to answer this is an extremely simple yet difficult, uh, yet difficult proposition. In order for life forms to continue existing on Fugai, it's necessary for the life form to regulate itself. Every species of life form works together as a single organism to control a planet's environment. Surprisingly, there have been cases of self-cleansing, where foreign elements have been expelled. The uh, prophets are dealing with that. <laughs> this function is very similar to ours. From a universal standpoint, Filgaia is regarded as a single life entity. Currently, the Filgaia theory is moving forward with systemization. By regarding the planet as a life form, there are also plans to heal and revitalize the environment. We look forward to providing the results of this research. The Guiding Word The Guiding Word is a magical password. The Guiding Word is my name and the key to open the gate. The Guiding Word will be lost in the sea of words if we rely on conventional wisdom. <sighs> so yes, the password is Guiding Word. Not even the guiding word, just guiding word. And case sensitive, I believe. There we go. More books to read. The truth that gave birth to life. The many secret ceremonies stored inside the information library Hyades gave people the means of creating new life. Golem, that is said to mean unborn child. A steel machine that carries out orders in a detailed and precise fashion. Relevant. Yes, it is a machine. However, not only does this mechanical golem carry out orders, it compares past memory and data to perform the most appropriate action. It has a will of its own. In fact, it's safe to say that it is a life form with its own personality. It is not a life born from life, but a life born from truth. That is a golem. How close is this truth to God? I don't know. Its discovery was a coincidence. The first group of scientists, which later came on to form the First Council, came into contact with a wisdom deep within a ruin. The ruin was named Mimir's Well, and was set up as a base of operation to analyze the wisdom. The wisdom was determined to be a crystallization of wisdom. <laughs> okay. Dating all the way back to the Great War. Due to its advanced and dangerous nature, the wisdom was concluded to be technology of demons from folklore. This wisdom, or artifacts left behind by the demons, was accumulated and stored inside an emulator zone, a memory area similar to human memory. These can be considered as memories left behind by demons. The scientists named the information library that existed inside this emulator zone Hyades. Hyades and the wisdom left behind by the left behind were analyzed by a group of scientists for many years to come. 
Their goal was to utilize the power that once destroyed the planet to try and rejuvenate the planet. Wisdom is something that wavers. Its value and its use are not meant to be used in one place. Okay. Photo. Hey now. I have no idea who these people are, but why do I feel so uneasy? There's something about this picture. Well, I believe we have the other, ha the other half to it. If you look at the um, right half, it's the same picture. Well, same part of the picture, anyway. Ah, there we go. <laughs> They're piecing it together as I do it. Okay. I finally found it. A clue to my father's whereabouts. So he was here. Would you mind telling us more? Virginia began to recount the disappearance of her father ten years ago. How her father flew into the wasteland, leaving her sick and leaving her and her sick mother behind, never to be seen again. <laughs> Many months of sorrow passed before she finally gave him up for dead. But the double pistols she wields and the technique required to handle them are the only memories she has left of him. Although these memories are distant, they are close and familiar to her, even now. This doesn't prove whether he's alive or alive today or not, but I was able to trace my father's steps after he left. I'm sure Mom would be happy to hear about this too. Uh, can I take a look at that picture for a sec? Is this man here your father? Wait, how do you know? Did I describe him to you before? Well, so you do know him. Please tell me, tell me, tell me everything you know about him, no matter how small. Well, that man, uh, he, he well, he's kind of like um, my old man. Uh, but don't freak out. <laughs> Guess he was out having fun after leaving. <laughs> he's my half brother. Well, me. I guess he's old. So he has another family. I said, "What was he trying to?" <laughs> <laughs> uh, one of the few times when auto scrolling text is actually used for good comedic effect there. I like that. <laughs> Yo, you okay? That dirty money prophet of a father. <laughs> I'm going to go to them leaving, leaving me poor my mom. How could he do this to her? Well, yes, it might have been wrong for me to assume he was dead, but if he was alive and well, I just wish he'd come to see us. Hear me out. I haven't finished explaining yet. What I meant by that was... <laughs> oh, it's just nice of them to insert some comedy into this. <laughs> uh, what I wanted to say was, he's the one that raised me. And taught me how to survive in the wasteland. You've got it all wrong. He wasn't... Damn it, why am I the one pleading? I'm the one who doesn't have any... I know. I know. I know my father wasn't like that. I was always a daddy's girl. <laughs> oh, I can't say that was a trip first. <clears throat> I loved him so much. There's no way he could be such a person. I'm just so happy. So he was doing fine. I wish he would have told us himself. I wish I could let him know that I'm doing fine too. Sorry to crash the party. You're... How nice to see you again. I've come to pay you back for that time you completely ridiculed me. <clears throat> that is my personal reason for being here, but actually, I'm here to carry out my duty. Work, work, work. So you're here to command that big hunk of metal? 
<laughs> Allow me to introduce you to a golem, which we bore from the wisdom of Hyades, codename Divine Fortress, Asgard. Asgard has evolved enormously from fighting pre from free. <coughs> Asgard has evolved enormously from previous fighting machines. The Gemini circuit in <clears throat> the Gemini circuit embedded in his chest allows him to record and assess any situation, enabling him to react accordingly by evolutionary analogies. Analog analogies. I will never get that word right. <clears throat> machine capable of collating current situations with past data to calculate the best course of action? Impossible! What is this, ChatGPT? <clears throat> but it exists, right here, right now. <laughs> it is kind of funny that this was seen as impossible technology back in, back like 20 years ago when this was written. <laughs> but now it's just like, oh yeah, that's just ChatGPT. <laughs> you can run it on your laptop. <laughs> It's just called machine learning. But that's not all. The more the more Asgard fights, the more battle data he stores, which means that he'll grow smarter after each battle. Amazing, isn't it? And that is why you have been selected as his first data specimen. Go, Asgard! Crush the target. Oh boy! I don't remember the gimmick of this fight. There's animals, and just everyone else just keep blasting and see what happens. High power barrier erected. Okay, so now he resists that, okay. Is it just a one time barrier or. Oh, that's a lot of reward! Okay. So now it's worth using the Gala cards, definitely. Let's try using the armor break. Let's see if that does anything. Optimize data. Hmm, okay. Armor break did not work, so let's try. I don't know. <laughs> <coughs> <clears throat> Let's try some non-elemental damage. Let's try no elemental weaknesses. The stats change there is his uh, armor. But how we get past that, I don't know. Uh, I, I hope it's not just a case that we have to wait until it just wears out each time. Okay, that works at least. Okay, so use magic. Seems like it does not resist that. Okay. <clears throat> okay. Doesn't take a lot of damage from it either, but hey. Just attack to build up your thing. Let's try gravity, you never know. Oh, that actually did something. And the barrier's back, okay. So it seems like you can only use physical attacks once every couple of turns. Alright. <clears throat> but magic seems to be fine. Never mind. So now he resists magic as well. Okay, I guess we'll 
just, just hmm. So it seems that once the barrier is up, we can't damage him with anything. But once when the barrier is down, we don't want to physically attack. Because that makes him put the barrier up. I think that's what's going on here. So just use magic, I guess. Unfortunately, does not do a whole lot of damage compared to our physical attacks, but yeah, it's working at least. Oh, now he just puts the barrier up anyway. Okay. I don't know if it comes to that. Just defend, I guess. Wait, optimize there. Hmm. Does that cancel the barrier, I think? Yes, okay. Let's just see, for science, does attacking make him put the barrier up? No, okay, it was just coincidental. Oh, <laughs> that was a good turn though. Okay, fine, I get the fight. It's just he alternates between having the barrier and not having the barrier and... Sometimes we just have to defend and do nothing. Other than that, it's not a very difficult fight because he doesn't do he doesn't do a lot of damage to us. I think this turn the barrier goes down. Once he does optimize there, I think that's when the barrier goes down. Never mind. Okay. <laughs> uh, I don't even know if I should use lock on <clears throat> because it could just be completely wasted <laughs> if he just decides to put the barrier up this turn. I think you might. Never mind. This turn, I think he's going to put the barrier up. Never mind. Okay. Wild in with those crits. I don't think we even put a dent in him. He's like an impenetrable fortress. A divine fortress, almost. But we've got to break through to keep going. Be on your guard. Something's beginning to swell within him. Bring it on! Do I still get the experience? <laughs> yes, looks like we do. Marvelous! Absolutely marvelous! To exhibit such power during a test run? The technology of Hyades is astounding. This is excellent combat data. Much better than expected. To free myself from future anxiety, I shall deliver the finishing blow. Kitty. Hmm? <laughs> Reinforcements? That's an outrage. They're not one of us. If anything, they're our enemy. But what gets me is when a familiar face is being bullied by a new face in town. An enemy of my enemy could be my ally, but as God has determined you as hostile, prepare to become its data. Lady, I'm more concerned about the big fellow than her. Mm hmm. Now, sis, now! Why, you? You're as sly as a fox. Dad! 
not dead. <laughs> Lady, she has awakened. Can you take over guard duty? You got it. How are you feeling? Uh, well, uh, all right. I think I'm fine. How's your arm? Try moving it. Arm functional. I think it's okay. Just like normal. Good. I was worried. Well, now that you're feeling better, I think you should go home. The wasteland's not for you. How can you say that? Did you have to confront two obstacles the longer they continue their journey? One is the artifacts of prehistoric culture that far surpasses the technology of today. I'm sure you're well aware. And the second one is the cause of Phil Gaia's decay. You'd be right if you stick with a measly little undertakings, but once you, get set, once you get yourself involved in those two matters, there's no turning back. Moreover, if you're not careful, you might just lose your life, like you almost did just now. It's not too late for you. Now's the time to turn back. No, I won't turn back. Oh, is there a reason you go overboard and act so recklessly? Do you mean to tell me that the justice you're looking for can be can only be found by facing danger? I have to face danger if I want to find... Just pack your bags. And don't get involved in matters where you can't. I have to face danger to find my father. There's no way I'm turning back. Next time you show your face and try to get in our way, I, Maya Schrodinger, will crush you to the ground. No holds barred. Just remember that. She cares about us. I'm sorry, but don't be mad at my sister. My sister's a little... You know, she comes off as crass, but she's trying her hardest to be nice. I'm sure she said what she said because she's taking a liking to you. Nobody wants to see people that like get hurt, right? I mean, you know, there's something to that, sure. I'm sorry. I said something selfish. I probably shouldn't be the leader of this team. My father's been missing for a real long time now. I had given up on him, but once I found out he's still alive, I... Kinda went over and went in over on my head. Then Maya jolted me with her lecture, and which made me realize she's probably right. It's too dangerous to get involved any further. So let's call it quits and go our separate ways. So you are dissolving the team so you can head out on your own to search for your father's whereabouts? Is that what you're trying to say? I just that in it, in itself is selfish. Why not lend an ear to your comrades and hear what we have to say? If I may, I believe that the long history of Philgaia, which I am in search for, can be found where you are headed. Ever since the first time I met you and travelled together as a team, with you as our leader, I have encountered many different events. Just, just so many strange, weird things. It's been bizarre. All these events were stimulating. Something I could never experience if I worked alone. Even if you try to stop me, I intend to travel by your side. I'm going to continue to chase my dream. Hmm. When people face decisions, they sometimes hesitate. And don't feel like moving from their spot. <laughs> Selection paralysis. Yeah, I get that. <laughs> In this kind of situation, I think it's the leader's role to stand behind that person and give him a boost. I don't know if that would define you as a brilliant leader, but a good leader at least. You know, somewhat decent. Okay leader. And maybe even acceptable. <clears throat> you actually make travel in the wasteland kinda enjoyable. We can't think of anyone else we'd rather have leading us. We all knew there'd be danger involved. We wanted to do it. Well, we've come this far. Let's see this through to the end together. And once we're all done, let's make sure Granny coughs up a hefty reward. After all, she's the one who got us into this. 
Thank you for your kind words, but... I'll tell you the truth. I said that to try and convince myself as well. I'm scared too, you know? Janice and that golden thing and that weird threesome. But by working together as a team, it gives me courage. Like I can and have to do whatever it takes. A married sniper who talks in big words, a sulky looking punk, and most of all, a leader who's not always confident, but is capable of bringing it on when it counts. We're all so different, but we've done pretty good so far. You know, I kind of like this team. Maybe it's because I trust everyone's skills, but maybe it's more like fate. Nah, that's not it. Just like a leader said, it's a bond. We're not tied together by fate. We're tied together by a bond. <laughs> We're buddies. That's how we made it this far. And we'll continue to be together. Ain't not right, leader. Thanks, everyone. I'll do my best. Even if we stay together, the path we'll tr we travel will be difficult. That will not change. Some of the clues which we have, we have so far are the photo which was torn in half, the evolution of the planet that the prophets mentioned, and scraps of information found in that laboratory regarding a plan to rejuvenate the world. Basically, the key point is global environmental control. Looks like we'll have to prepare to face even more danger in the future. We may be able to find more clues in my research material regarding the history of the planet. I propose we head to my home, Located south of here in a town called Humphreys Peak. Yes, that sounds like a good idea. And spend some time with your family. It gets lonely being away from home. Yeah, yes, thank you. Where are you going? Leaving guard duty? That's not very admirable. Oh, it's you. I hear you're Virginia's father. Shouldn't you be trying to stop her? What, the silent treatment? Eh, forget it, I quit. Solving the mystery of this planet? No thanks. That ain't for me. I'm just a drifter. I only work for profit, so I plan on bailing. That's what I suggest you do. I endowed, I endowed you with the Ergay Lamb so that you can survive on your own. You are unable to handle any other arms. However, you have the Ergay Lamb. Use its power to survive the wasteland. Even if you find yourself alone in this world, just remember there is, an ex there is a reason for your existence on Philgaia. Hmm? You sure like taking care of me? I mean, you did teach me how to fight and to survive on my own in the wasteland. But save your meddling for your daughter, not me. Well, she'll get herself into something she can't handle. I am a cursed father. It's too late to face my daughter now. It would bring it would bring about more pain if she ever saw me. I must track down the unseen speculation that veils this world. I must atone. Who are you really? You're a father to Virginia, you raise me and teach me how to survive in the wasteland, and you search for the answers to the mystery of Philgaia. What goes on in your mind? What is it that you know? Wait a minute. Maybe you know why I don't have any memories of my past, too. There you go again, climbing up. Have it your way. I've had a change of heart. I was going to hightail it out of here, but I think I'll pretend to be friends a little while longer. That way I'll be forced to track you down, no matter what. I'll save the Q&A session till then. An unforgettable memory can at times seem like an ugly scar. Humphreys Peak is located south of here. Just cross the bridge and stay along the shore. Is anyone listening to me? Hey, what's this? It looks like a letter addressed to us. Is this your writing, Jen? Hey, what do you think you're doing? Whatever. 
Don't tell me you were thinking about leaving a note and sneaking away. I said whatever. I know you were always on your own, but you're not alone anymore. Yeah, I know. It's, it's much more beautiful to be with someone than to be alone. I'm a firm believer in that, Bob. Okay, okay, let go of my hand. Oh, I love this group. Any who's it? So across the bridge to the south. Another sign. What is your wisdom sign? East Lurok. South. Illegible village name. <laughs> okay. Dang it. Whew, alrighty. Keep going south it is. Okay, another sign. What is your wisdom sign? East Highland Station where the sun sets. There it is.